Hi folks, Peter Lawn here. Um, today's video I'm going to take a look at um, electricity and water networks uh, in the game Icarus and um, sort of hopefully uh, provide some information that you might find useful about them. Um, they got uh, th this device here was introduced recently and they did an overhaul of the electricity and water uh, networks and uh, this thing's called a flow meter and it allows you uh, the ability if you hook up a water network to it as well as an electric network to it um, you actually get to see what's going on with your uh, supply usage and uh, storage of various re uh, water and electricity resources so when you first walk up to the thing you can see that it's um, um, you know it, it's set up for water right now if you hold down the E key it switches to electricity so you can take a look what's there so if you press the the E key just tap it basically it'll show you on the left hand side so it, te it tells you you're looking at currently at the energy side of the um, of the network on the left hand side is your supply devices so I've got a you know two water wheels two wind turbines and a generator feeding into this um, network and then there's a whole bunch of devices listed here that are connected to the network and using um, various bits of power and then on the right hand side is um, storage uh, which would be your batteries uh, that was introduced in the game a little while ago so um, now batteries are useful uh, if you're say just using say solar and you want to store some energy into the batteries um, during the day and then at night um, what can end up happening is you can use the the, uh, the energy that's stored in your battery packs um, now you may be wondering why is the over here I've got my advanced battery pack and um, and when I go and look at this I don't see that device in the right hand side so we know right away we got a we got a problem um, that our battery pack is probably not connected to our network right so if I go over here and I take a look if you switch to you put your electricity tool and your water tool in your quick bar down below um, as you can see I've got it on eight and nine um, down there so if I select 9 which is my electricity uh, the one thing they also did was they they made the highlighting of all the electricity and water networks a lot more visible which is which is kind of cool so you can actually see all the connections that go everywhere in your building um, so if I go and take a look at this guy to troubleshoot him I can see right away I got an issue here because this this is going out to here but it's not making a final connection to there and if you at any point in time look at any device or any node that you're looking at for that particular um, type of resource in this case uh, energy or electric um, if I go here and hit the R key you can see I can see my battery storage in the right hand side here but it's not there's no other devices under demand or supply which will indicate right away that that you're not connected to anything so and that's true because this new node here needs to be connected so let's connect that up so we'll highlight that we'll connect it to that now if I hit the R key while looking at the node you can now see I can see everything right I can see all my devices that are feeding energy into the network stuff that's being used and the battery pack which is uh, getting uh, charged right now so that's cool um, again if you go down here this also works for um, reservoirs that are tied to your uh, pumping system so in other words this guy here is a, uh, a metal rain reservoir and I've got him piped up to my water network and if I go over here and press R oh, first you have to uh, cha change your device so that it's um, the water pipe tool so I hit 8 on my keyboard to get the quick bar item now I hit R now you can see my metal rain reservoir is full and it's feeding into um, into the demand and then you've got your supply on your left hand side here which is my electric water pump so now if I disconnect this device uh, let's do it right there and I'm looking at a node and I'm saying hey is this thing connected because sometimes what can happen is when you're trying to connect nodes um, together it looks like it's connected but it quite isn't uh, and um, if so if you're pointing at a node and you hit the R key for example you can see this metal rain reservoir is all on its own it's not connected to anything on the water network here right? so if we now just connect this guy and we go and look that node again you can 
can see now we see the electric water pump all the stuff's using water as well as the metal rain reservoir on the right hand side so that's a quick way to troubleshoot your, your electricity and water networks is just you know kind of travel along the nodes hit the r key when you're looking at it and um and make sure you got the right tool selected in this case uh my electricity tool i go here yep everything looks good it's all connected at this particular node right and you can go all the way along your uh, your your length of of uh, water and electricity wiring and then check each node to see if, if it's connected in so that's a quick tip on that um i don't really use batteries that often but um, for this demonstration that's one thing now the other thing is uh, most uh, anything that uses water and electricity right now you can actually go up to it and turn it on and off using the e key you hold it um, and in, in most cases it'll turn it off to idle meaning that um, it's just waiting to be to, to use power if you go over to your um, your flow meter and you hit uh, detailed information if you click on any of the devices under the demand side of things single click you'll get a little kind of drop down underneath it and you can toggle it on and off from here just be aware when you do that it it moves around in the uh, in the sorting side of thing that kind of confused me a couple times too so if, for example if you go here and you turn it off um, now this, this one's staying where it's supposed to be which is good and they must have fixed that so anyways you can go in here and you can you can turn things on or uh, toggle things between on and idle you can see that these things are we'll turn it off turn this guy off and then the other thing you can do is you can assign priority to those devices as well which means that if you're on a battery um, it will it will give priority to certain benches or devices uh, based on power usage ring. I don't use that that much myself personally uh, because I've always provide enough power and I and for example I don't really use um, uh, battery packs that often because I've got uh, large supply devices so usually I'm got more than enough power and water from my pumps and the um, and that's because I'm running a mod that uh, that gives me all the juice I need uh, but anyways that that little part about looking at the nodes on your network runs uh, really helped me troubleshoot some really long runs for water and electricity uh, figuring out where the brakes are um, you can quickly go along the um, the, the networks and um, and identify where the disconnect is right so I hope that um, that helps uh, and um, have some fun with the electricity and water. They've really kind of stabilized it out. It's a, it's a, it, it operates a lot better than it used to. And um, I hope that's a, a good tip for you. Thanks for watching and bye for now.